In the late 1850s and early 1860s, curious European botanists and vine growers had begun importing native vines from North America. They were not aware that in many cases these American vines carried with them small yellow mites which fed on their roots, sucking their sap. Phylloxera is believed to have reached the Dura Valley in 1868. It first unleashed its destruction on the eastern areas of the Dura, the source of the finest ports, and by 1872 had brought many famous port estates to their knees. The 1880s saw the beginnings of recovery after the devastation that Phylloxera had caused. The Herculean task of rebuilding and replanting each of the Vigellas fell to the legendary Frank Smiler Yateman, the partner who led the company for most of the first half of the 20th century. The development of Quinta de Vigellas was continued by Frank's son, Dick Yeatman, who had studied viticulture at Montpellier. The old walled terraces of the Vigna Vega represent the original part of the Vigellas estate and contain its oldest vines. They have been classified as world heritage and constitute one of the Vigna Vega's most impressive historic vineyards as well as the source of one of the rarest and most sought after of all vintage ports. The Vigna Velha contains mixed plantings of many different traditional grape varieties, some of which are seldom planted today. In this sense, the Vigna Velha represents a piece of viticultural history, the idiosyncratic and seemingly random mix of different indigenous vine types, contrasting with the ordered and controlled character of modern vineyards. Taylor's holds extensive reserves of old, rare, cask-aged port in its cellars in Porto. All were produced from vines planted after phylloxera. Like Western civilization emerging from the devastation of the Great War, these remarkable ports symbolize the recovery of the Dura vineyards from the greatest scourge ever to hit the world of wine. Taylor's decided, very exceptionally, to release the Kingsman Edition blend, making it available not only to Kingsman devotees, but to collectors of fine and rare wines around the world. Aging in oak for almost 90 years has given the wine a magical complexity.